Good morning from the Philippines, the second day after installation. Yesterday was raining and cloudy and my internet broke down, so that's why I now record this video and upload it in the mall later. There you can see the final installed uh, solar panels. They are all facing the same side because I wanted to have them installed on the back of the house yeah so back of this house but unfortunately the roof construction is not meant for this so now they are on this side today it's nine o'clock now 9 30 you see it's a little cloudy that means always sun not sun but i can show you how all this works so first first you see the cable coming from the panels so Ariel, my uh, installation guy, really did a great work. And the second cable comes from the roof there. You can barely see it because he really installed this nicely. And then we go here to the box where the hole is in the wall to go inside the house. But you also see cable running down there because they grounded it with a 10 feet nearly copper stick that is hammered into the soil here. And now we go inside. Yeah, and here you now see the installed inverter in the middle. The huge battery, this is 10 kilowatt. And this is also why the battery should be near the inverter because the cables you see coming out are really expensive, about uh, three dollar per meter because they have to handle 80 amp per hour uh, per hour in case it's charging then we have the breaker boxes where all the cabling come from this box that also goes into the breaker box of the house but as you can see Ariel did a really good job here and yeah, this is really great so nothing can happen and then here I now switch to the larger display to show you how this works. So what you can see in the top left is the eight solar panels. Now it's really sunny and it, they are already 4.13 kilowatts. So they are eight panels, 500 watt, giving usually four kilowatt on a really sunny day. Now it's getting a little more cloudy and you see the uh, harvested energy is dropping directly but that's not bad um, on the right side you see the grid but it's zero because we don't need anything from the grid at the moment in the lower left you see the battery and you see the animation running in, into the battery that means we get 1.6 kilowatt solar power now going into the system in the inverter and the inverter is charging the battery with about one kilowatt because at the moment on the top uh, on the lower right you see the house is just using 300 watt uh, for some lamps and a little bit because at the moment the air cons are all off you see it's 927 at the moment so even now I checked this also in the morning and seven o'clock and it was already over one kilowatt and you see in the top left is again two kilowatt. So usually you, uh, during the day, I definitely get enough uh, power to run the house with all the air cons and I can charge the battery. And you can see how really the solar panels will power up when the sun comes out and it's just nine o'clock. So usually, between 8 and maybe 4 p.m., 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., I could say I get enough power to run the house and charge the battery. And even yesterday when it was cloudy, um, we got 1.25 kilowatt out of the panels and it was really a cloudy day. So even then with the air cons running, there was enough power from the solar panels to power the house. The house used about one kilowatt in the afternoon. So in the night, when there's no solar generated power, this will switch. Then you will see 
the input coming from the battery and the battery will power the inverter and still the grid power is at zero. The grid power will only kick in when there is no solar power generating and the battery is empty but with 10 kilowatt battery and in the night maybe the house is using only three to four hundred watt when the aircons are running the battery should last for 12 hours or longer so usually if it's sunny enough during the day i don't need any grid power because the system is uh, yeah configured correctly what i actually cannot show you is the app that comes with the uh, inverter because the inverter has a wi-fi to send all the data also to the app to my uh, to my phone unfortunately for the app i need wi-fi and i say i'm tired of it because i just downloaded the app yesterday and then installed it and it was running for about 10 minutes and then you see blinking los and if you look on my facebook channel you see i posted the picture of the burning post outside so yeah just shortly after i installed anything and it should run and give me the updates in my phone the inter uh, the universe decided i burned down the internet and now i'm out of internet for about a week until globe repairs the cables so yeah i'm just tired of it and I need to do the next video updating you about how the system works yeah, when I have working internet again. So I hope it shows you how the uh, installation works and that it works without me doing anything for it. I will install a small uh, fenced door here so that no one easily can go in and touch things but this is for the next days. The installation itself is great enough. I hope it's informative for you and if you like it, this system did cost 300,000 pesos, so that's about $6,000 only. And here in the Philippines, it easily, as you can see, can power your house. Bye-bye.